Well, we begin this hour with our top story, and that's Brexit, with the British House of Commons leader Jacob Rees-Mogg saying Parliament will vote on early elections again on Monday. Prime Minister Boris Johnson wants to hold elections on October 15th, but he failed to win support from lawmakers on Wednesday. Jacob Rees-Mogg also said the Brexit delay bill would be given royal assent once it passes through the House of Lords. The House of Commons leader said all legislation needed to leave the European Union on October 31st is in place. But earlier British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he suffered a defeat in the House of Commons after MPs rejected his attempt to force an early election. Now, Johnson has already lost a key vote to opposition lawmakers seeking to block a low-deal Brexit. Well, well, for more on this, we're joined by Mr. Alex de Reuter, who's a political analyst based in Birmingham in England. Alex, thank you for joining us here on Indus News. Now, I mean, look, House of Commons leader Jacob Rees-Mogg says Parliament will hold another vote next week on early elections. But you had Jeremy Corbyn saying that uh, he wanted elections, but then they didn't vote for it. Will they be able to get it through next week now? Well, that's a very good question. We here at the Centre for Brexit Studies in Birmingham City University have been following this assiduously. I still think there are doubts that he would be able to get it through for the simple reason that if the Labour Party have any fears that Mr Johnson would seek to change a proposed election date once Parliament were to be dissolved, then I suspect they would rather see a request for an extension of Article 50 with the European Union agreed to by Brussels before undertaking to have any election because if it was accepted by Brussels then the UK would stay in the EU for the duration whereas at the moment we, we have Mr Johnson's word that he would agree to keep an election on the 15th of October once Parliament is dissolved of course he could unilaterally as Prime Minister move that date and thereby still achieve uh, leaving the EU by the 31st of October with no deal if that were his intent. Right, so it's been a day for Boris at the office as his younger brother has just quit the government as well, citing national interests. Do you think his resignation is going to have an effect on Johnson's efforts to convince the opposition to call back the election polls for next week? No, I don't think it will. I think that that's a separate thing. I think the issue there is only with uh, Joe Johnson being his brother, of course, citing obvious reasons about um, the family relationship and... Uh, Joe Johnson, of course, had very different views in that regard, you know, as pertains to leaving with no deal. So you can see the personal tension there. No, I don't think that's going to have any real impact on Labour's stance. I think the, the impact on Labour's stance is solely in terms of Boris Johnson's stated intentions and what his motives may be or not. You know, the, the key issue, I think, is will the Labour Party be satisfied that the no deal scenario will have been avoided? And I come back to my point about I don't think they will be completely satisfied until not just having a, a bill to extend membership receive royal assent, but actually seeing Brussels respond and lock in an extension period so that there would be no opportunity for the Prime Minister to deviate on his stated purpose here. Yeah, you're right. Because Boris's brother was uh, voted to stay in the EU and uh, Boris himself was obviously leading the campaign to uh, leave the EU. Now, I've got a final question for you, Alex. I mean, we touched upon the extension of Article 51 on your first answer. I want to talk about that again. Do you think there's a possibility of them extending the Brexit deadline again? I think that is certainly possible, yes. Um, it... Uh, you know, the EU have always said that they would agree to extending the Brexit deadline if there was a, a material change in circumstances, and the premise of holding a general election would certainly qualify in that regard. Alex, thank you very much for joining us here on Indus News. That was political analyst on Brexit, Mr Alex de Ruta, joining us from Birmingham.